have an active weather pattern starting to set up across the area for tomorrow. And as we look right now, we do have a wind advisory in effect for Mercer, Augley, Shelby, Logan, and Hardin counties from 7 a.m. to 10 p.m. tomorrow. Winds could gust up to 50 miles per hour, and that could create some scattered power outages. And one thing we got to emphasize is that any shower or thunderstorm could possibly enhance that threat. We'll discuss that in a, in a few moments coming up. Right now, it's nice outside, 48 in Lima, 48 in Elida, 48 in Delphus, across the south, 49 in Rockford, 50 in DeGraff, 48 in Houston, and across our north, 48 in Grover Hill, 49 in Fort Jennings, and 48 in Cary. So overall, quite enjoyable for this evening. Looking at today's almanac, 51 was our high today, 30 was our low. No rainfall measure today, but that will change as we go into our daytime hours tomorrow. Sala and radar does show we are quiet for the time being, but as we zoom off to the west, it's very active across western Kansas into Oklahoma and Texas as this area of low pressure strengthens. A lot of severe weather, severe thunderstorm and tornado warnings with this. As we look at the severe weather outlook for today, this is quite unusual for February. A moderate risk, which is a level four out of five, has been issued for much of Oklahoma. And part of that severe weather risk could actually come into our area tomorrow. We now have a slight risk in effect for our southwestern areas, Salina, Wapakoneta, and Sydney, with a marginal risk in effect for the rest of our area. So we have quite a bit of active weather. So severe weather risk, we do have that slight risk in effect for tomorrow. Main threat would be possibly some damaging winds with showers or storms. Can't completely rule out an isolated spin-up tornado. Right now the threat is low, but we'll definitely have to monitor that as we go forward. So looking at Skycast timing things out, we'll drop down to the middle 30s overnight. By sunrise and just after sunrise tomorrow morning, our first round of showers will arrive. As you get into our mid to late morning into mid-afternoon, that is our best chance for showers and storms with that possible severe weather threat. And then eventually that low pressure will move off to the northeast late tomorrow night into Tuesday morning. In terms of wind gusts, keep in mind these are wind gusts outside of any storms because we're going to have quite a windy atmosphere. We'll easily gust 40 to 50 miles per hour across the a entire area. Wind gusts will die down for Tuesday, but could get another resurgence Wednesday, possibly 25 to 40 mile per hour wind gusts. In terms of rainfall from this event, looking like a solid half inch to one inch of rain likely can rule out a few areas in excess of one inch. So watch out for some minor ponding and isolated flooding throughout the area. 35 will be our low tonight. Rain will be arriving very late, especially towards sunrise. That wind will strengthen, and then tomorrow will just not be a pleasant day. Rain and thunderstorms high at 58. High winds likely with gusts up to 50 miles per hour at times. Looking at seven-day forecast, Tuesday will be a little cooler. High of 49. Clouds will thin out. Breezy still. Wednesday extremely warm for late February. 65 degrees. Still breezy with isolated afternoon showers. Thursday, clouds increase ahead of our next storm system, 45. Friday's a bit of an interesting day. We'll have to monitor how the storm system evolves. Right now, a chance of rain and snow are both possible, and this also could be accompanied by windy conditions. Stay tuned. We'll fine-tune the forecast. Sartage.